It's wine time, guys. Welcome to another episode of Wine <laughs> Wine Wednesday. I finally think I've got the setting right. Like, I think this should show now. I always like cover it or I don't position it well, and then when I finish recording, I'm like. <clears throat> But yeah, I really hope it's fine now. So yeah, welcome to another episode of Wine Wednesday. And like I always say, pause, go get yourself a drink, be it coffee, tea, milk, whatever you want to drink, juice, apple juice, whatever. And yeah, let's get straight into the video. So today I have one question from a girl who messaged me and thank you so much for messaging me. She seems like such a sweet girl or a sweet lady, but like I put it that way. And I hope I'm able to answer your question in this video. And like I always say, if you feel like whatever I say is not you know enough or you feel like there's other advice you can give um, to the person, then just write it in the comment section below what you think. So yeah, I'm just going to read the question. It's obviously down on my laptop as it was an email and I would um, start. So she says, hi Annabelle, before I start, I just want to say I absolutely loved your video on budgeting. It has literally saved me a lot of peas. <laughs> so thank you. Um, thank you so much for that. That was really amazing of you to say that. And I'm going to bring in up more videos on you know money talks with Annie. I'm still working on that. So you should definitely check that out. So I don't really so okay, so I don't really know how this may sound, but I'm just gonna shoot it out anyways. Basically, I've been very recent basically I've very recently given my life to Christ. You go girl. And there are certain things I did before that I no, I no longer want to do again because of personal conviction, one of which is clubbing. However, I'm struggling with my old friends. I'm however I'm struggling with my old friends. They don't really understand where I'm coming from. And I'm finding it hard to still be friends with them now that I'm living a different lifestyle to them. So I'm not sure how to go about it. I don't want to cut them off out of my life, but I'm starting to realize they aren't helping me out spiritually or adding anything to my life academically, health-wise, etc. So should I cut them out or try to explain to them why I've made this new turn around? Thank you in advance. Wow, okay. Um, that's a very interesting question and a very good question. Firstly, I would like to, you know, um, say that it's an amazing thing to, you know, give your life to Christ and also like start having a relationship with God. It's always very important and, you know, that's the next step for you to have an amazing life. Like, it's trust me, it's worth it. So you're going to regret this. So your question is a question that, you know, I've seen like a lot of young people and a lot of people, you know, who recently do that struggle with but what I will say is you know as you said one of your as you said what what one of your personal convictions which is clubbing um, the clubbing aspect is don't let anyone you know make you feel like you should be going out with them so regardless of even if you're still friends with them or not let's just put that out on, on you know out in the air like if you're if that is like a conviction to you don't go for it at all like you should always listen to you know what your heart says and what your spirit says and what also god is trying to tell you you know different people have different convictions for different things some people who have given their life to christ would go clubbing or go out to the bar with their friends and to them it's not you know how you feel that's what i'm trying to say like some people there's there's is you know there's a very like you know thin line here and i'm not trying to say that to be a Christian, you cannot go out with your friends, you can't go to a bar, you can't go clubbing. That's not what I'm trying to say because I do those things, but at the same time, you, if that is a conviction of you, then you know from God, then you you, you just you just stop. There's, there's no two questions about it. That is one thing that you should just tell yourself that I'm just going to stop this. And however, um, I don't know what like part of your life you are in now, but let's just say that you're in uni. Um, clubbing will take time out of your, you know, time for you to study and for you to do things. It would also take a lot of money from me, but, you, you know, it's just, there's so, so many, like, you know, I won't say negative energy, but there's just many, like, negative sides to doing that. And you don't want to, like, go out and then you end up being intoxicated. And then one thing leads to another and it's just a whole, like, all game of other things. So, as for clubbing, just leave that out. If you have the people that make you feel like you should, just let them know that, see, um, if you don't respect my views on what I want or respect my decision not school clubbing then you know that we have to reevaluate like this you know friendship or reevaluate what we're doing because um as a friend you're meant to help the person do better and grow and if that person is not doing that you know for you then 
that person doesn't is not your friend. That person should not be considered a friend. And I'm looking as you're seeing how like they're living a different you're living a different lifestyle to them. But you're not sure you want to cut them off. But at the same time, I think yeah, you've answered your. By the same time, I think you've answered your question because looking back at this, you're saying you're starting to realize that they are not helping you out spiritually or adding anything to like academically, health-wise, or more. Um, you basically answered your question. If they're not helping you in any of these forms, then there's no reason for you to keep them. But another thing that could be happening is that, um, you know, the reason why there's uncertainty with you thinking that way could be God's way of telling you that. See regardless of the fact that i'm happy that you've come to me and i'm happy that you want a relationship with me i also want you to pull your friends you know to me as well i also want you to make your friends have that relationship with me so maybe that's the reason why there's some uncertainty with you or maybe um you feel at the same time that like you know that they're not helping you but why can't you cut them off maybe that's a way of god telling you that you should also try and help them so before you actually cut them off i think my advice to you or the solution for your question would be stick with what you've decided to do stick with how you you know told god that i want a relationship with you stick to how you've made that decision and do right by god but at the same time try and talk to your friends tell them okay this is where i am in my life this is exactly what i'm doing and let them see that okay there's a positive side to it let them you know even if you don't like i don't want you to like you know force them to do anything once in a while message them you know if you're reading like a bible plan or like you see a scripture that you like or you see something inspirational send it to them just do your part if you feel that that's what you can do and i think that that'll be the best way about it you never know them seeing your you know you taking the time out to send them those messages or taking the time out to actually help them in some certain areas and also seeing how you know positive your life is now that you're having a relationship with god maybe they will start like living the same life or living the you know similar lifestyles to you as you mentioned they don't live similar lifestyles to you so i mean when they see that positive change to your life they will probably be like okay so this girl like used to be a friend she used to do the same thing with us and now she's like done something different she has a relationship with god she's doing better in life she has more positive outlooks to things maybe i want to you know do the same thing so that could be you know something i don't know if everything else that makes sense but i feel like i don't want you to just like cut them off completely but be conscious and guard your heart because at the end of the day your heart still matters so if there are certain things that they do or certain like environments or certain like conversations that you know are going to take you away from your goal then you cut that out if you know they're engaging in like gossiping and all this stuff you don't have to reply to those messages you don't have to indulge in in those things don't like try and add to them just try and cut yourself off certain things but at the same time try and show them okay this is what I'm doing, you know, God can help you, having a relationship with God is also good for your life. You know, you, you can work both ways if that makes sense. I don't know, to be honest, but it's it's always a very thin line when it comes to friends, especially if you care about them a lot. And from what I've seen in your message, you do care about them a lot, even if you have told yourself that they don't help you in any, any way. So, I don't know, some people might say, just cut them off because they're not bringing anything to the table, but I would say that before you do that, just, try and you know bring them along with you on this journey even if you don't like possibly do it but you know slowly and surely maybe they can see you know the benefits of doing this and if they don't want to change if they don't want to take anything you've said to you know to their lives then it's fine you just know that you've done your part and you would always find other people that would care about you and help you grow in those aspects of your life because you know you're having a relationship with God is not going to keep you alone there's always going to be someone that would help you you know you can find a very good person like a mentor and accountability partner there's so many ways to go about this but trust me like if it's friendship you're looking for you will end up having good people that would surround you and bring you like fruitful um, friendships so yeah don't you know don't beat yourself up too much about it just go on with how you're you know how you're helping yourself going with your relationship with God. and i hope everything works best for you and stuff like that and you also need like to talk about certain things with someone or you need more advice on certain things please feel free to email me feel free to message me i'm always like happy and open to you know, answer anything so yeah i hope this answers your question and to everyone else watching this um 
video i hope i was able to help them if you feel like i have missed something out or you feel like i do not answer this question appropriately then please write down what you think she should do or also like additional like comments or additional advice for the girl so as you can see that in the comments please also like this video subscribe to my channel follow me on all my social media accounts which i will put somewhere there or in the comments in the description bar below um i'm so appreciative of all the love and all the support please share this video and yeah if you want me to answer a question or you have a dilemma that you need me to bring up on wine wednesday please send that to my email it's going to be down here and it's also going to be in the description bar below have a blessed day and see you in my next video